Thank you for listening. All that said, friends, Romans, countrymen, I hope- Bonus Caesar story. This did not fit terribly well in the narrative, so this is a fun story for the end. Okay, so during the debate, while Cato was attacking Caesar's character, suggesting his leniency indicated sympathy to or involvement in Catiline's conspiracy, Caesar was brought a note, which he read. As you can imagine, this might look pretty incriminating, and Cato jumped on the opportunity to call Caesar out for conspiring, communicating with Catiline or something. Cato demanded Caesar read the note aloud to show his involvement in the conspiracy, which Caesar did not want to do, even guiltier. Cato again demanded Caesar read the note aloud to show proof of his guilt. Senators were shouting with Cato that Caesar should read this message aloud. Caesar, pressured by many, handed the note to Cato. Cato was aghast to find the secret note was a quote-unquote very passionate love letter from his half-sister Servilia to her lover Caesar. I don't mean to be graphic, but it is most simply put like this, and if you are a younger listener, please stop listening now, but Cato's half-sister was basically sexting Caesar, Cato's enemy, in this very important debate. Cato screamed at Caesar, have it back you drunk, and threw the love note at him. Caesar remained calm, cool, and collected throughout the whole incident, and in that same room was Solanus, Servilia's husband, and the man Caesar was cuckolding. If he had any idea about his wife's affair, he never sought retribution on Caesar, or perhaps even encouraged the affair to get Caesar's support. So, yeah, that's a, whoa, there's a lot going on there. Thank you for listening. All that said, friends, Romans, countrymen, I hope you enjoyed the show.